Now, proper maintenance is the key to keeping these vehicles on the road for years and keeping these engines lasting. And fortunately, most of the really important things as far as maintenance goes are pretty easy to do. One of which is the fuel filter. You definitely want to maintain your fuel system, especially in a diesel. If you don't, then you've got potentially particles and water going around your system. You're going to get that into the pumps and into the injectors, and you don't want to have problems with that because that can cost you a lot of money down the road. They're not giving those injectors away anymore. Now, we go down here. This is really easy to get to. So you've got this little, right on the side of the housing, there's a little cap and you turn that a quarter of a turn and you can dr start draining the housing. Now if you can't reach in there and get it with your fingers, you can always, there's a setting there, you can use a screwdriver or whatever you got to use, but it's nice and easy to get to. Then we can go down here and get to the cap and get that out of the way. And once we get that loose, the rest of the housing will drain and we can pull this filter out. So get the cap out of the way. And we'll pull this up and take a look at it. And we shouldn't see any problems. Just looks like a wet filter. Looks pretty good. Now we're ready for our new filter, which is right here. We take a look at this, and this is going to go in here. This is a two-stage filter, and it's got filter-in-filter -filter technology, and it's doing a couple different things. It's filtering out the debris, and it's separating the water from the fuel. And you want to swap this baby out at least every 15,000 miles. Also, you want to use quality replacement parts, original parts in there, because if you get something aftermarket and it's not designed to work in this particular engine, that could give you some problems down the road as well. When you put this in, you put it in dry, okay? So we're going to slide this back in there, get that into place, and we're also going to replace this O-ring. So we'll get this out of the way, and we'll replace this O-ring, we'll get a little bit of oil on that. Now the reason you want to stick that in there dry is because let's say you take a like a fuel can that you've got laying around in the garage or something and you dump that into the housing to pre-fill it and you think well that'll be a good idea. You don't need to do that. Plus if you've got any debris or any kind of junk in that fuel can, now you've put it into the into the area right there and it's bypassed the filter so you're offsetting all the preventative maintenance that you're doing. So don't do that. We can actually prime this in the cab of the truck here in just a second. So we'll get this O-ring back in place. Once we get into the cab to prime this pump, it's nice and easy. It's a little bit different than some of the older models on this particular one. All you want to do is go to key on for four seconds, key off, do that three times, it'll prime itself and you're rolling. Inside the cab, there is a water and fuel light that will come on if you get some water down in there. Now, don't panic at the light. It's a really easy thing to fix. You would just go down here to the little drain on the side, hit it a quarter turn, drain it out, and then close it and reprime it, and you're back on the road and you're rolling. One of the nice things about the fact that this being an inline six is the fact that it's so easy to work on. You can really get to everything.